now we're going to tackle the equals button. So the equals button is a pretty exciting button, right? It takes um, the second number that's in the display and it looks and it checks to see what operation the user had picked before entering the same number, that second number. And then it looks back and checks to see what the um, uh, first number was the user had entered and that's going to be stored in num1 and then it does the computation based on what operation, what op chosen uh, is equal to. So let's go ahead and write that. So the very first thing um, basically that needs to happen is uh, your program needs to figure out what the second number is. So it's going to say in the event handler of my statement, the first thing is going to say is num2 equals convert dot two double um, LBL display dot text. Okay, and then we're going to use an if statement. That's going to the condition of that is going to be what uh, the operation is that the user had chosen. So that's the op chosen uh, variable. So if I I'm going to say if op chosen equals equals add. And what do I want to do? I want to say, uh, hmm, you know what? I'm going to go up and uh, add another variable. And we're going to make it a double variable, and we're going to call it answer. OK, so the answer uh, is going to store the basically the answer to the computation. So I'm going to say, in the case of add, what do I do? I'm going to add num1 and num2. OK, then when I'm going to use an else if statement. And let's see, did I misspell it? Uh, no, I should be right. Oh, maybe it's down here. Oh, no, it was correct. Uh, chosen equals subtract. Then what do I need to do? I'm going to make the answer be now. Uh, it would be num1 minus num2. And then if the op chosen is multiply, then what? Answer equals num1 times num2. And then finally, well, the only other option I think, no, there's two more. There's the exponent key and divide. I'll do the divide one first. Then what? Answer equals num1 divide num2. And then the only other option is going to be the exponent key. So I'm just going to put an else and then I'm going to say uh, what? Answer equals and then it'll be math.pal and then num1 comma num2. So that's raising num the first number to the second number power. Okay, so that's going to do the math. That's not actually going to display the answer. So after I do the math, I'm going to say ants. No, I'm going to say put. I'm going to put that answer back into uh, the text property of the label. And answer, and then I'm going to use the plus sign, but that's going to mean concatenate uh, empty quotation marks to the answer. And by doing that, it will convert the answer to being a string value. So let's see if my calculator works at a very basic level. 
6 divided by 9 equals, hmm, I bet I know what the problem is there. I bet you any money for I didn't change, nope, I didn't put in the event handler for the 9 button, apparently I didn't change that 0 to be a 9 when I was going through and copying and pasting. So let's try it again. 9 divided by 6. Good. Good. Yes. So let's try 8 uh, times 6. Okay, or 4 plus 0.5 equals, let me see, do I have the decimal point right? Maybe I don't. 4 plus 0.5. Oh, I just didn't type it in. All right, good. So I have basic a basic functioning calculator.